Nine out of 10 people don't know this trick, and we're gonna show you the one thing electronic stores would hate for you to know. You won't believe how quickly you can double your RAM. Okay, enough of that, sorry. Here's five actual real tips for upgrading your computer memory. So we get a lot of questions when it comes to upgrading RAM. What kind do I need? Can I mix brands? What about different sizes? Should I get two smaller sticks or one larger stick? I think we all know the answer to that one. Well, let's answer all of them today. We'll be focusing on desktop computers and the principles are basically the same for notebooks with the main difference being that instead of a full size dim, it's a little baby so dim. Now, first question, what kind do I need? There are two ways to figure this out easily. You can download a diagnostic tool like CPU-Z, which can help you identify your exact motherboard model where you can look up a memory that is compatible with it. Or if you prefer, you can just open up the side panel and take a look at what's in there. On the side of your memory, you'll usually find a little sticker that says blibbity 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 model number, part number, and specs. If you have a computer from 2007 onwards, odds are you'll need DDR3 memory. Anything before that, probably DDR2. And apparently Anthony was born in the year like 2000 because he clearly doesn't remember that there was DDR1 and SDRAM before that. But the point is, if you look up the model number, you'll be okay. Now, if you have a very new system with an X99 motherboard or really anything that comes out after us filming this video that also supports DDR4, then you'll need DDR4. But for most folks out there with a reasonably modern system, but not like super hyper bleeding edge, DDR3, and you're good to go. Now, what about the differences between speeds? Can I mix and match them? Yes and no. It will technically work, but you can run into compatibility issues and crashes. We recommend you stick with the same model of memory whenever possible. As you get into larger capacities, like even up to you know eight gig or 16 gig sticks, the problems get worse and worse with mismatched memories because being on the bleeding edge means sometimes compatibility takes a little bit of a nosedive. Ideally, you'd like to get all of your memory at the same speed grade as well. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference in terms of performance what speed you run your memory at, but if you use multiple sticks of memory at lower speeds, then your motherboard will automatically run at the lowest common speed available. So here we have some DDR3 1600 memory and some 1333. So even though there's some 1600 sticks in there, it'll perform at the same speed of the 1333 megahertz kit. So what about brands? Well, on a certain level, memory is memory. If you have two kits with the same specifications from two different manufacturers, then their performance will be pretty well the same. So you pick a brand based on warranty, design, reliability, or your experiences in the past, and prices, of course. You can't really go wrong with big names like Corsair, G-Skill, or HyperX. In fact, let us know in the comments below which brand is your favorite. One thing to watch out for though, is that sometimes aside from the primary timings, the sub timings when set automatically can be handled differently from one brand or another brand or one stick to another stick. So again, can't say this enough for the best possible experience. You should have the same brand by the same, with the same model and even bought at the same time because they'll actually revise them from time to time for like perfection. Next, what about two small sticks versus one larger stick? I was kind of joking before because if you want eight gigs of RAM, traditionally people recommend two sticks of four gigs instead of one stick of eight gigs in order to take advantage of dual channel speeds, which is an effective doubling of bandwidth. Now, if you're using an integrated graphics solution like an AMD APU system, then yes, a dual channel kit will dramatically improve your gaming performance. But for others with dedicated graphics cards, the real life benefits of dual channel is not that noticeable. Now, if you're already buying you know, high capacity sticks, then yeah, get two of them in order to get the right amount of memory for your system. However, if you're just buying one stick with the intention of upgrading it later, just buy one high capacity stick instead of two lower capacity ones, because then you'll have more room to expand in the future as you discover yourself needing 16 or even 32 gigs of memory. And I'm dating this video a little bit because I'm sure that's just gonna be the norm by the time a lot of you are watching it. So another common question we get is, hey, my friend just upgraded his system and has an extra stick of memory. Can I add it into like my system? Well, 
if you're not using an AMD APU system or onboard graphics? And the answer is yes. The performance gained from the additional RAM can often outweigh the negatives of running in single channel mode, but a good way to know whether it will is check out your task manager. Find out if you're actually running out of RAM or not, because memory will not affect the performance of your system unless you have a need for the additional capacity. I hope that covers all the questions you had about upgrading your RAM. If you have any more, leave a comment down below or shoot an email to the PC advisors at NCIX, PC at NCIX.com, who offer free non-commissioned advice for your system upgrades or your new system. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Memory. Memory.